guys, Tracy here from AC Air Technology. And uh, this week we want to show you where the tugs are made at. I get that question a lot. Where are your tugs made? Are they made in the US? Are they made overseas? Where are they made? And uh, they're made right here in Chino, California. So we're going to go inside our factory here and uh, I'll show you how they're made. Let me put my mask on and I will meet you inside. Okay, here we are in the factory, and this is where all the tugs are made. So we've got uh, the lathes over here, we've got assembly back in the back, we've got the milling section over here, we've got inventory behind you there. So I'm going to take you around and show you each one of the sections one by one, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll have a better idea of how our tugs are made. Thank we've you. got uh, seven Haas mills here, so we've got quite a few of those. and. Uh, this one here we're using to machine our rails on our, on our uh, tugs. And this is how it starts out. It starts out just as a plain piece of aluminum. We machine one side of it. And here's the one side gets machined. And then it gets flipped right over onto the other side and machined. So you got two of these going at the same time. One side's being machined, the other side, and then it's complete. So we've got from raw part going in till the finished part coming out. Okay, so here we are at our uh, VF3 super, super speed machine. This is a Haas also. We're machining the uh, main plates for the T1 V2 here. Uh, we've got this many done so far. We've got probably about 30 more to go. And uh, yeah, you can see this machine is just, uh, it's, it's zipping right through this part and uh, we pretty much dedicate this machine to our main plate. So all of our main plates are done on this, all the way from the T-Mini all the way up to the T2W2. We got uh, several lathes here as well, and these are automatic lathes. Uh, all of our lathes are Akumas, we got one Haas, and uh, this one's the LU-15, it actually has a twin turret. You can see it's got the drilling turret down here, and it's got the cutting turret up here on the top. So you can do uh, a, a part complete. So when it pops off of here, it's really pretty much done. So, and it has a bar feeder. You can see we can put like a 10 foot length of bar in there. And uh, once this thing's set up, it's gonna run. It's gonna run the full length and automatically feed the uh, material in and until all of the material is done. And, uh, and we got a box full of parts. Okay, and this is the front of our assembly area here. Uh, these two tugs have just been assembled. We've got a T1X2 here that's ready to be shipped out. Uh, we're going to be boxing it up here shortly and sending that one off. We've got a T1V2 here that's ready to be shipped off as well. Uh, radio and everything's down below. Uh, and these are ready to go. Things that we do is uh, we take trade-ins of our older tugs. People have one that they like and they, uh, they now got a bigger plane, they want something uh, bigger or, or sometimes even smaller. So they'll trade in their old tug for a new tug. And what we do is we go through the trade-in tug and refurbish it completely. We'll put new batteries in it, new tracks on it, make sure everything's working good and we'll give a, a one-year warranty. So uh, if you get a, a used tug from us, you can be guaranteed it's gonna be just like it was new might be a few little scratches here and there, but other than that, mechanically and electrically, it's going to be in perfect shape. Here's a T1X2 being assembled, ready for uh, shipping. And uh, we do one last cleanup of the tracks and kind of button everything up and get it ready to go. Uh, T1X2 is, is by far our most popular tug. So uh, we're assembling probably uh, two of these to every one of any of the other ones combined actually so uh, this one is uh, just getting its last finishing touches and it'll be ready to be boxed up and it'll be shipping out today and here we are assembling a T1X2 um, we're actually applying the uh, Cirrus constraint arms to it so that it'll be all set up. Uh, this one's going out to a uh, service owner. And when we have a tug that's going to a specific kind of airplane, 
We'll set the all of the settings to be correct for that uh, type of airplane. So this has the cirrus, cirrus constraint arms and the uh, tire spacers in there. And uh, just finishing it up, getting it all assembled and ready to go. And this is another sub-assembly area. We're assembling the uh, rails for the tugs over here. This looks like the uh, T1X2 rails. We've got several sets going at once here. We've got all the parts lined up and uh, being assembled and then they'll go into inventory and when we're ready to assemble a tug, we'll just grab the sub-assemblies out of inventory and those will be ready to ship. And here's our inventory of our main plates for our tugs. Uh, we've got several different models and we've got several different plates. Uh, we have the Lazy Susans up here. These are sub-assemblies ready to go. Uh, lots of inventory on plates. Uh, some of these we're getting low on and we've got uh, production running some new ones right now. Inventory area. So we inventory all of our own parts. Uh, everything that goes into making the tugs we've got in inventory. So that means a couple things. One is we can build tugs very fast because we've got parts ready to go. We're going to be uh, building those things, uh, you know, as fast as we need to. And uh, the other side of it is, if you ever need a part, if a part breaks, we've got it here. And uh, if we don't have it here, we can make it because we, you just saw that we make our own parts. So if we run out of inventory on a particular part and you need it. Uh, it wouldn't be very long at all for us to remake a new one and, uh, and get you back up and running. Uh, we've got thousands of parts here. Uh, I could go through here and just start pulling out parts and you would see you know, the complexity of every single part. Uh, it's, it's really amazing. Uh, it's a lot of, a lot of uh, machining, mostly machining, but we also have screws that we purchase and uh, motors and other things that we do purchase, but we've got those in inventory as well engineering department up here uh, we've got uh, my rail over on the far side we got Saul here and this is my desk and this is where we do all the design of our of our product uh, we use pro engineer called a 3d modeler so we model up the whole tug in there completely so you can take a look at it you can spin it around uh, you can uh, zoom in zoom out and take it apart on the screen before you ever even cut apart so it's uh, pretty, pretty handy to be able to see exactly what you're going to have before you even start cutting metal. Okay, and here's Brianna. She's uh, one of the sales associates here. And uh, she is the one, if you call, more than likely she's going to be the one that answers the phone. So she's uh, busy, so I'm not going to bother her anymore. Her accounting department over here. Jeannie's at work behind there, so I'm not going to bother her either. She's uh, paying some bills. <laughs> This is Brittany, and she's our other sales associate, and she wears a lot of hats as well. And uh, she's uh, taking an order right now, so I don't want to disturb her either. But uh, yeah, that's our, our crew upstairs. Okay, so I want to point out while we're up here at Brittany's desk, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, do you notice anything on her walls? <laughs> Does this girl like airplanes? Uh, definitely. She's got the most airplanes on her wall of anybody here, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So, anyway, that's uh, I thought that was worth uh, pointing out real quick. Here's uh, our manufacturing area, and this is Daniel. He's the manufacturing scheduler, and uh, again, everybody wears a lot of hats around here, and uh, Daniel does a lot more than just manufacturing and scheduling. But uh, um, if I had to give him a title, that's probably the one I'd give him. So anyway, he's busy too. Everybody's busy here, so I'm gonna carry on. Sneak into Anthony's office here real quick. There's Anthony, he's the uh, president of AC Air Technology. And he's the only one that really has a good view of the shop. And it is uh, busy down there as usual. All right. That's the tour of our factory where we make our tugs. So thank you for uh, joining us on that. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or at minimum, just like this video. 
and we appreciate that. So thank you, and uh, I'll see you on YouTube.